Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what we are going to be doing is benchmarking the new release of Windows 11 up against a couple of different Linux distributions. So first things first, my personal favorite, the side-by-side -side test. And the very first one is going to be the boot speed test. But before we get into that, you know something that's really easy to boot up? Yep, exactly. One of your very own instances of Linode which happens to be the sponsor of today's video. The Node is the largest independent cloud service provider out there, and I've been using them for about a year for just about everything, whether that be hosting the front end of TechHut.tv or hosting my very own instance of Nextcloud. One of my favorite things about Linode is their one-click installs. You can use them easily to set up a WordPress website, host a game server such as Minecraft or Valheim. You can set up a media server. There's really a lot you could do. Now, if you decide just to build your own from scratch, you could pick a wide variety of Linux distributions all the way from your Ubuntu LTS to hosting your very own Gentoo in the cloud. They have fantastic customer support. And if you use the link in the description, you can get a $100 60 day credit to go ahead and try out the node today. All right, so with that, we have the actual side-by-side -side boot speed tests here. And for this, I went ahead and disabled the login screen for Windows through the registry, and I enabled auto login on all these Linux distributions, including disabling Grub, so there's nothing to really impede the times of actually booting up these systems. And with this coming in first place, we had Linux Mint at 13 seconds, followed up by Manjaro at 16 seconds, and then Fedora at 18 seconds and Windows 11 lagged behind at 21 seconds. Now with our system booted, I went ahead and grabbed this 3.0 USB drive. On this thing, I had all the different benchmark tests that we're gonna be needing to run, about four gigabytes worth of stuff. And I just went ahead and grabbed the contents of this drive and dropped it into our documents folder on all of these systems. And with that, the quickest time barely was Fedora at a minute and 12 seconds, and then both Manjaro and Linux Mint followed up by nearly fractions of a second, and then we had Windows 11 at 1 minute 14 seconds 0.6. Now based on those speeds, it's so incredibly close, I'd almost say it's within the margin of error, but it's still cool to see anyways. Now one of my favorite tools is Caden Live. I usually use DaVinci Resolve, but I've been using Caden Live a lot for just basic cuts and things like that. So what I did was loaded up the same project on all of these operating systems. For all the Linux distros, I used Flatpak just to make sure that I was on the same version so I could actually open up this project file. And for Windows 11, for this to open up, I had to use a nightly build of Caden Live. And I was kind of surprised we had Windows 11 beat out all of the render times at 3 minutes and 27 seconds. And then following up, we had Linux Mint at 3 minutes and 54 seconds. And then Manjaro and Fedora both tied last at 4 minutes. Now for me personally, after editing videos, I usually fire up GIMP to do some minor graphic design work. And to actually benchmark this, what I did was opened up a blank 5000 by 5000 pixel canvas, headed over to the filters and rendered out the lava texture. Now this is kind of a strenuous process, so it does make it really nice to actually compare the times. And to actually render this out, we had both Manjaro and Fedora tie for first place at 31 seconds, followed up closely by Windows 11 at 35 seconds. And in this case, unfortunately, Linux Mint came in last place at 42 seconds. Now next is probably everybody's favorite category of tests, and that would be the graphics test or kind of gaming benchmarking. And to actually gauge graphics performance, we ran two of the U-Engine tests and a CSGO benchmarking map. Now first starting with one of the older U-Engine benchmarks, we have the Valley benchmark. And with this test, Fedora actually came in first place at 3894, followed up by Linux Mint and then Manjaro, not too close behind, but if we look at the Windows 11 score, it is incredibly low at 3329. And it's where I'm gonna note here that all of this is run on OpenGL. Running DirectX will give Windows a score of significantly higher than all the OpenGL results. So if you're playing games that run DirectX, you're probably gonna see some pretty good performance. And then if we open up the U-Engine Superposition benchmark, we kind of get similar results with Fedora scoring the highest, followed up by Manjaro and then Linux Mint, fairly close. And then we have Windows 11 in last place at 6602, but then if we run the test in Windows with DirectX, we get a score of 8302. And now something a little closer to real world is the CSGO benchmark test. And this is ran on a benchmark map that kind of takes you through the game in a predefined script. Uh, it's actually kind of cool, 
but basically what this is going to do is measure the average frame rate through the duration of that kind of script out gameplay. And with that, we had the best performer being Fedora with an average frame rate of 347, followed up by Manjaro at 345. And in this case, Windows fell behind quite a bit with an average frame rate of 265. Now, next up, we have some web browser tests to actually test the performance of browsing the web probably the thing that you are doing most on your computer anyways. For this, we ran two different tests, Basemark Web 2.0 and Web XPRT. Now for the browser benchmark, I actually went ahead and used Microsoft Edge for both Windows and all of these Linux distributions. Uh, and I did that because Microsoft Edge actually performs very well on Linux. While combined with it being the native default browser on Windows 11, I thought that this would be the funnest comparison. Basemark Web is really good for more advanced things, kind of like graphical renders. We had Windows 11 coming in first place at 1663, followed up by Linux Mint at 1468, and then both Fedora and Manjaro kind of lagged behind within the uh, 1200s. And now Web XPRT is a little bit more general use case, does a lot of JavaScript HTML5 type tests, so I honestly think that this ranking would kind of be more accurate to real world use. And with that, we actually had Linux Mint come in first place at 271, followed up closely by Windows 11 at 267. And then again, we had Manjaro and Fedora kind of lag behind at 235 and 231. Now from here, we're gonna specifically start testing the CPU. And the very first test that I ran was the Blender BMW render test. This kind of like the Kden live test is a really good way to figure out actual rendering performance and how your computer might perform working in things like Blender or any other video rendering software. But this benchmark was kind of odd. Compared to the Kden live render test, we actually had Windows 11 come in last place at three minutes and nine seconds compared to an average of two minutes and 38 seconds for the various Linux distributions. Now last up, we probably have my favorite test and that is Geekbench 5. We use this to test the processor. We get generalized scores, but also you could dig down deeper and figure out specific scores for various categories such as C-Ray rendering, things like that. And with this, Windows 11 again kind of lagged behind. It scored 1211 on the single core and 8530 on the multi-core performance. While in first place for both of these categories, we had Manjaro at 1353 and 8838, and Fedora followed up that multi-core performance within the margin of error to Manjaro, and generally all the Linux distributions were just fairly close. And for these Geekbench tests, I'm actually gonna link to them down below so you could get the actual page and be able to compare all these different scores side by side so you can see what categories there might be any significant differences in. If you do like this format of benchmarking video, I've done a lot of these. If you're interested in seeing Windows 10 versus Debian and Arch, you could go ahead and check out that video. And if you're more interested in desktop environment comparisons and testing out a variety of different Linux distributions with the same desktop, I've done quite a few of those videos as well. So I'm gonna be linking to Lowe's down below as well as all the other resources that I discussed in this video. Make sure you subscribe, ring that bell so you do not miss future content similar to this. Uh, with all that said, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.